What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today. Another very exciting Android video for you guys. Usually I make Samsung content on this channel, but I used to make a lot of stuff about the general Android versions and it's also very relevant to Samsung users because we get to see some of the new features coming to Android that will eventually make it into One UI 7.0. So today I'm taking a look at Android 15 Beta 3, showing you guys the stuff that's new and exciting on my Pixel 8a. Now if you're new to my channel, you're just checking this out. If you are a Samsung user, check out my website, sammyguru.com. Subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of great written content over there and we do a lot of great video content here. We also cover some general Android stuff in comparison to other Android phones. So welcome to the channel. Definitely check it out if you're interested. So as usual, I have a little keep document here with all the things I want to talk about. Here's the things I'm going to sort of run down. Some of these things are very small because of course we're already at the third beta. I've been using this on my Pixel 8a for a while. I also want to note some of these things that I've found are only available on the Pixel 8 Pro. Some other people have noticed them on X Twitter. I wanted to point out that some of them are not available on the Pixel 8a. So not everything in beta 3 is currently on all the different pixels that can actually run the beta. So the first thing is volume menu can no longer be minimized. Speakers and display labels gone. So now if you go into the volume menu, you expand it right here. You'll see that you can no longer minimize this menu. You used to be able to swipe it down. You would go like half screen or quarter screen down there. And also they've moved the speakers uh, and display subcategory. You've got media, call, ring, notification, and alarm. Obviously a very small change, but I did like having the speakers and display category right there. And it was also nice to minimize it, but it's definitely something that is different in beta three. Up next, the adaptive timeout screen feature. So this is one of those bigger features in Android uh, 15 beta three that is not available inside the Pixel 8a, but I'll show you where it's supposed to be and I'll also show you a screenshot from Michelle Rahman who always does a great job on all of the Android beta deep dives. If you go into display and go into screen timeout, I have mine set to five minutes because it's just better when I'm making videos so the screen doesn't automatically go blank while I'm trying to talk to you guys about something. There's a new option down here that's called adaptive screen timeout. Now of course we've got screen attention here, but this is a completely new option. It is not available on the Pixel 8a running this beta, but it is available on the 8 Pro. So the adaptive timeout feature and uh, Michelle shows kind of a screenshot here. It's right below where it says 30 minutes. Right below there is where you should see adaptive timeout. As you guys saw, that's not available on my Pixel 8a. He also figured out by kind of testing this on his Pixel 8 Pro that this is how it works. If you check uh, the proximity sensor to see if anything's in front of it, like the inside of your pocket, if so, it shortens the screen timeout and turns the screen off early. This could be because, this could be why, rather, that this doesn't work on the Pixel 8a because of the difference in sensors between the 8a and, of course, the 8 Pro. Now, I do have an 8 Pro. I'm currently running stable Android uh, on there, not the beta, but I might install it on my Pro just to check it out because this really seems like a pretty cool feature that I'd also really like to see come to Samsung Galaxy devices as well. Speaking of Galaxy devices, it's really nice when I do these with the Galaxy phones. I always have the pop-up window for Google Keep, and now that I'm doing it here on the Pixel, I really miss having the pop-up multitasking. It's kind of a shame that we don't have that in Android on the Pixel. So we've got a more obvious button to turn off circle to search. So now if you go into your settings menu and you scroll down here, to your gestures and down here in system, go to your gesture navigation. You'll see circle to search. You can now turn this off and it's actually right below the three button navigation option. It used to be buried one menu option deeper. This is for people who don't want to use it. Personally, I love circle to search. I think it's a great feature. I don't know why people want to turn it off, but people have privacy concerns, things like that. Google's made it a little more obvious so you can do that very easily if you want to. The shortcut to color contrast preferences in display settings. So if you go into the display settings now, inside the display settings, you'll now notice the option for doing color contrast right here. You can now turn this on very easily, default, medium, and high, maximize text contrast. This will make it so that it's easier for people with visibility issues, uh, any issues with their vision to see things on their phone. Another nice feature to have front and center, it used to be buried a little bit deeper in the settings, and now it's a little more obvious where that lives, which I think is a great thing, of course. Android safe browsing in security and privacy. Now, this is another feature that was discovered by Michelle Rahman as well in a previous uh, build of the Android beta. If you go into the settings and you scroll down to security and privacy and go to more security and privacy settings, there's supposed to be a new feature here right around the extend unlock portion that says Android safe browsing, which basically secures your Android browsing experience uh, and kind of lets you get a little bit of filter for what you're browsing on the web. 
This is also not available on the Pixel 8a, as far as I can tell, as you guys can see. I'll try to include a screenshot in the description so you can see what it looks like if I do install this on my 8 Pro or if I can grab it from someone else. Not sure why this is not available on the 8a, as compared to the adaptive screen timeout, I don't see any reason with sensors or hardware that this couldn't be available, but as you guys can see, it isn't there, but I did want to bring it to your attention because it is a change in beta 3. The next option is to show long app names in the Pixel Launcher home settings. So if you go and long press on your home settings, scroll down here, you'll see that now when you go to your app list settings, you have this option to show long app names. So basically this will display longer app names on two lines in search results and app list. But you can see even Amazon shopping here, if you show it like that, change it right there, show long app names. Now you can see how Amazon shopping is cut off a little bit right there. And that's exactly what this feature does. A very simple thing, but also very effective. Uh, next, home control screensaver for the Pixel tablet. So if you have a Pixel tablet, I have one, and I'll try to insert a little picture here so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, on the Pixel tablet, if you're running the beta, you can now see home controls as a screensaver. So you can control your lights, your doorbell, your thermostat, all that good stuff. And you can make that your default screensaver, which I think is very convenient for those of you who do use a Pixel tablet to control a lot of our smart home devices, which I think a lot of people use that as the primary purpose of the Pixel tablet. The last thing is we have a redesigned screenshot preview. And actually, I'll just show you guys here by taking a quick screenshot. You can see down here how now the screenshot kind of floats above the two icons. Looks a little weird when you only have two action icons, but if you had a couple more options there like smart suggestions, it'll be a little more filled out. It might be a little bit more interesting. Anyway, that's what I've noticed new in Android 15 Beta 3 on the Pixel 8a. Like I said, a couple of features, uh, including the adaptive screen timeout and the Android safe browsing that other people have noticed. I noticed Michelle had listed over on X and I had not seen on the 8a, so I wanted to point that out. Again, the adaptive screen timeout could be hardware. I don't know why the Android Safe Browsing is not available on the Pixel 8a, but it is indeed not there. Anyway, if you guys have tried it, let me know your thoughts so far. It seems very stable. Uh, Google is calling this the platform stable version. Hopefully some of this really cool stuff, including the adaptive screen timeout, could make it to some of the Samsung flagships. Again, if you guys wanna check out my website, sammyguru.com, if you are a Samsung user, we'd be happy to have you over there. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.